Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you the creative process behind the bee painting. As you can see, I wanted to do some very soft, mellow yellow tones, like I wanted to get some peachy pinks in there, and oh man, I just loved watching it all come out together like this with the deep, almost mustard yellows and the more brown yellow tones like uh, it was just so much fun all these tans I didn't know that it was gonna be a bee over the top of it I was just thinking of my dear friend Beth actually and she loves the color yellow and so I was just sort of channeling her and then the bee came after and yeah you can see here all the little legs were so much fun to paint and the wings are a little difficult in my brain because you know, I wanted them to look kind of translucent, but also keep my cartoony style. I loved painting on all the little fuzz around the antenna. It was just like, it just kept getting cuter and cuter as I went, like. <laughs> it's fun to watch all the details back. It's very cathartic to draw all the little lines that make up these little beings, like, I don't know. It's just, it's just so magical. And then I give them a couple extra coats because I want it to be really thick and have a lot of texture because that is my signature for those of you who know my art. I do not skimp on the paint at all. <laughs> I want that sucker to last. I wanted to make that wing a little bigger because I realized it was lopsided and I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> I gotta fix that now or it's gonna bother me for eternity. I might, I need to do another yellow, yellow toned painting. It's been a while. I've been into the vibrant colors lately. It'd be nice to do another pastel. It was very, very peaceful to paint this. It really was. To be looking at the color palette that I put in the background especially, it just really set the mood for this piece. And there you have it. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!